If you thought making tea is an art, making the pot the tea is served in is an art and craft. We're in the little village of Andretta and over here is the Andretta Pottery where we're standing and here Jugal Kishore and his partner Mini run this place as instructors and you can come here to learn pottery and making pots and plates and pans and other things made out of clay. Working with your hands is supposed to be very therapeutic and very relaxing. So if you have um, three months out of your life, pack your bags, come here to Andretta which is sort of 40 minutes outside of Palampur on the way to Mandi. They have full facilities here. You can come and stay here and you can learn right from scratch. You can do a three month intensive course and become a master potter. Imagine how much money you will save in dinner away. Yes. <laughs> and if you don't believe that, just ask Hari. Hari, potter, please <laughs> make something for us. No. Something attractive, something intricate and complex. It's super difficult. Sir, uh, I want to show him how it's done. May I try my hand? Yeah, of course. Okay, lovely. And now watch how it's done. This is going to be easy. You start with clay, you dump it into a trough, you fill water in it. For a day to a week, it's kept there. It's taken out, kneaded, thrown onto this. You make a pot out of it, take it out, put it in an oven, glaze it, heat it. Then you pull it out, glaze it with colors, etc. Shove it in again, bring it out, voila, ready to eat, pot ready to go. How cool is that? Would you like a partner for marketing and business development on how easy pottery is and how, how good this is? Thank you, sir. Go on. This is going to be fun. Watch this. I, I only charge food. No, no cost, no payment. This has to be recorded for posterity. Rocky at Pottery. What have you learned so far? What I've learned so far is that most potters are thin, including young Hari over here, uh, as is Jugal Kishore. I, on the other hand, am not suited to fit into this seat, but here I go. I feel like God shaping clay to make things out of it. So first we wet our hands. Yes. Then we wipe our face with the water. <laughs> Lovely. It's a pot. Okay. It's, it's not only pot. So like a baby, you have to hold it very gently, right? Like the mother's take care of the... When's the bit where he feeds it and burps it? Here's a tip for all you young mothers out there. Rotate your child round and round and round for a long time and then let him go. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> so this is really easy but I want to make this a little voluptuous. Like a surahi that you can have milkshake and cold coffee and all in. So then you have to work from here. Okay. To lift it from here. Can you? Lift it. Lift it from the no, bottom. No, 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 from there. <laughs> try, try, try. No problem. Statistically, people who work with their hands are the most sort of relaxed, soothed, non-stressed individuals like potters and break dancers. <laughs> let me see your happy face. Let me see your happy face. Ah, nice. And let me get a picture Nat of your Natural pose. Natural pose. Natural pose. Like I'm, I'm clay modeling. Fabulous. I have a picture of your masterpiece. Oh, let me see, let me see. No, 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 not with your yucky paws. Here, just wave your hand. No, over the screen. Ooh, it changes. Yes. How cool is that? Oh, what a handsome man. What lovely hands. What a great pot. Sir, there's something magical about your place. Everything is looking better. <laughs> okay, maybe it's mildly retarded, but it's looking nice. <laughs>